You know, if you look at Alzheimer's and you look up the root cause of it, it's always unknown. It could be genetics. We're still researching, blah, blah, blah. Well, there's a new study that shows that links DDT to Alzheimer's. I mean, it's a significant correlation here. So that's fascinating. I use a principle in my office that seems to work. And that is that you always want to look for the obvious thing. And it's usually the obvious thing that, that it's like one of those, oh, of course, duh, why didn't I think of that? Uh, when you're trying to find the root cause, don't look for something abstract, some genetic disorder, some defect in our DNA. No, it's the obvious thing. And what's obvious is that our, our environment is very toxic and polluted. Um, DDT is linked to Alzheimer's. The question is, DDT was banned in 1972. Why is it now showing up in our brains? Well, you might say, well, it's probably in the soil. Yeah, it's probably in the soil. It's probably finally leaching out in our fat cells. But there's some couple other things as well that you need to know. We're able to still sell DDT to third world countries like Chile, Mexico, and there's very high levels of DDT in those children as well. So um, we, buy, we sell it to third world countries, but we can't use it in America. And then we buy their fruits in the winter and we get it that way. So here's just another case to eat organic foods. Um, yeah, you can wash it off, but it's hard to wash off the pesticides in peaches and strawberries and some of these other broccoli, you know, things like that. Now, there's another study I want to, I want to talk about um, from the University of California, Davis. This is a recent study, and the researchers, researchers, researchers have found that the average exposure to children exceeded benchmark levels for arsenic, lead, DDE, and I want to explain what DDE is. DDE is DDT in the body for a long time. It breaks down. So they found that um, these, it exceeded the benchmark cancer levels for, for another thing called chloridane. That's like a, a termite in, um, killer pesticide that they banned way back. And I don't know how that's showing up in our, in our soils. But the point is this, these chemicals are in our environment. And unless you do organic food, you are being exposed. It's going into our kids' food. It's going into our body. It's going to be a time bomb with cancer. Alzheimer's, it affects your brain. I really believe that a lot of these weird disorders and weird diseases are the obvious exposure to these chemicals. But you might say, well, Dr. Berg, if that's true, why wouldn't the FDA or the EPA basically protect us or make us aware of this? Well, if you go down to the EPA website and under endocrine disruptor, which is DDT is an endocrine disruptor. Endocrine disruptor, uh, disruptor um, subcommittee membership list. And scroll down, you will find Dow Chemical Company, Monsanto, Sergenta, Frito-Lay, all these different companies that are on the panel that's supposed to protect us. So it's really a conflict of interest. That's why you haven't heard about it. But it is a time bomb waiting, waiting to happen and people are getting diseases and they're being treated and the symptoms. So you really need to be aware of this, spread the word. And um, I mean, it's just, it's just sickening to know that it's even in our kids' bodies as well, but it's in our bodies. It's, it gets stored in the fat cells. So if you or any loved one has Alzheimer's um, or is starting to affect their memory, put them on a detox, start to clean this stuff out. Make sure they're consuming foods that pull out the pesticides like chemical, like uh, cruci cruciferous vegetables, especially the kale, okay? So that's just a tip for these chemicals in the environment, and I will see you in the next video.